Cheers. So, welcome to another episode of the Painted Arrow Podcast. I don't remember what episode this would be. It's probably 156 uh, or 57. 157, I think. Okay. Yeah. Very good. Put you on the spot there. <laughs> very, very good. Very well, good. actually, it's true. When you do when you do the editing, mm-hmm. you're more in touch with. Oh that. yeah, yeah. I'm you have to of, be. I'm out of touch. You're of that. out of the loop, my friend. I used to do everything. All that. I mean, for the majority of the life of this podcast, yeah. Like, if we're looking at, like, this podcast as, like, a lifespan, I've gotten, like, the golden years of, you know, senior citizen sitting in a retirement home type. When Like, when I started the podcast, I really, like, I was I was driven to be consistent. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, I, I knew that if I wasn't consistent, it wouldn't do anything. Yeah. And granted, I haven't been the most consistent. Because, <laughs> like just the ebb and flow of the business and life but i mean 156 episodes i think that's that ain't bad not bad not bad i'm proud of that um we're gonna start you guys off today with a promo code uh, something that we haven't really done a good job of in the past but if you use promo code podcast on I'll put it here on the screen yeah, yeah. on uh the website painted outdoors.com soon to be painted arrow.com um it's a big development yeah, we bought that. We bought that. <laughs> it, it's got a ring to it, you know. Yeah. Not having to put that outdoors, it does make for a very long. Yeah. But so podcast. Yeah. Podcast. If you use podcast as a promo code at your checkout, you'll get ten uh, percent off of your order. So. Because we uh, we appreciate you guys. Yeah, we do. So that's first first and foremost. Um, so today is going to be kind of a, a slight recap on. The logging project, uh huh. Logging for deer project. Plus, apparently, you have something fun to tell me. And I have like a like I really want to start this off with like a story. Okay. Um. You you kind of know what it's about. Yeah, tell me a story, buddy. Yeah. But you haven't told me what this actually is, so I'm gonna be listening to the story the same time as you guys do. Yeah. So th- this is this is real time. Yeah. So we've been having issues with bats. Yes, you have. Um, Love bats. We moved to the house that we're currently living in last May. Okay. So it's been, what, June, July, August, September, October. So a year and five months. Yeah. And when we first, like, the first week that we moved in, Mm -hmm. my wife, like, we were actually moving. Yeah. Nobody was there. Like, physically moving. I was in the house by myself in the evening. It wasn't wasn't night, but it was in the evening, Mm -hmm. and there was a bat in our great room and it's like a we have like a vaulted Vaulted ceiling ceiling, and it's like a big open area and we have like timber framing um on the walls that kind of like meets the drywall yeah and you could when we first moved there you could literally look up the side of the wall and see up into the attic yeah and so i was like easy that's that's how they're getting in somehow they're getting into the attic i didn't i didn't know how they were getting into the attic at the time but that was the first bat incident that we had, and it was no big deal. Yeah. We opened, we had like a French door, mm-hmm. opened the doors, the bat flew out. That easy, huh? Easy money. Didn't tell my wife. That smart man. <laughs> Didn't tell my You're wife. Like, this is not going to be the first day I tell her about this new house. Like, no. hey, we got a bat in there. Yeah. It, I mean, I don't think she's an outlier, but most most women that I know don't love bats and most men that i know don't like bats. i was gonna say and also most men yeah, i know bats don't. are not fun man they're flying rodents and they're mammals did you know that yeah weird wait did you not know that you got hair i did but like yeah. i've been doing a lot of research lately okay fair 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 fair, 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 fair so fair, fair, fair. that was incident number one mm-hmm. how long did it take until incident number two so incident number two if i if i recall it was it was at the beginning of the summer. This of this year. summer. Yeah. Oh, so you actually had a decent amount of clear time. We had clear time. Interesting. Okay. So it was like almost a year of bliss. Yeah. And then it just dropped the hammer on you. The beginning of the spring, we like we were actually in our living room, in the great room, uh-huh. and we could hear the chittering. <laughs> yeah, like, dude. Oh no. <laughs> oh, the whole bunch. It was smoke. like loud. I mean, it wasn't like quiet. It was loud, and we're like. So Both of us look at each other. Buddy. We look at each other and we're like, what was that? Uh, uh-huh. Start and like we could hear it again. And we start looking, and sure enough, where the wood and the wall meet, 
Yeah. I took a flashlight and got on a ladder and I could see two bats. <laughs> like, <laughs> like looking right at me. Yeah. Uh-huh. So that was incident number two. And so mm-hmm. it it ended up working. Um, my, my wife really wanted to paint our house. Yeah. Because when we bought the house, that was like the one thing. She's like, I don't like these let's, mustard let's, colored yeah. walls. Uh-huh. And I didn't blame her. I don't I didn't love them yeah. either. So she's like, yeah, let's let's paint the walls. And I thought that that would be a perfect time to paint the walls because I was going to have somebody put a caulk line. I was going to do it. Yeah. But put a caulk line where the wood beams meet the walls it all and literally close yeah. it off. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah. So that's what we did. Uh-huh. Painted the walls. When I had the guy come in, I'm like, hey, add into the quote, caulking caulk that. Yeah. all. I mean, it's a huge caulk job. Yep. I think he went through 20 tubes of caulk. Mm-hmm. Like actually 20 tubes. Yeah. Cause he kept having to go back to buy more because he's like man i didn't think it'd take this much and it's a big room though yeah. it's a big room yeah so anyway i'm thinking to myself this these bats it. might be going in the attic but at least they're not going to be coming into the yeah. house what is what is your situation for getting up into your attic is it like a actual like can you stand up in your attic is no because it's no. a great room yeah so like there's it's a, literally just like above flow. the garage there's an attic yeah and so like if they can get into there, they can get anywhere in the house, okay. really. Fair. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So I yeah. didn't really know how they were getting in there, but I kind of thought like, as long as they're not in the house, this we'll what be it good. Is. Yeah. So then brings us to about five days ago. Yeah. And I'm trying to remember. Yeah. So I was actually out, out in the, the plots. Oh, okay. Yeah. It was, it was 9.30 at night. Mm-hmm. It was like dark. Yeah. And... I was uh, using the York rake on the back of the tractor and I was just grooming before we plant, just yeah. grooming all the, getting all the rocks mm-hmm. and all the debris, pushing off to the side. And I'm, yeah. I'm going in reverse and uh, I get a phone call. It's my wife. I put it in neutral, put the, you know, throttle down and the answer. And my wife is like, oh my God, oh my God, I'm so scared. Please come back. And I'm thinking like somebody broke in our house. Yeah, yeah. And I, High I, alert. I turned the tractor off. I'm like, what happened? Like, tell me yeah. right now what happened. She's like, there's a bat in the house. And I'm like, oh my God. Okay, I like, I'll be right there. And I was like three quarters of a mile back yeah, in the woods. Yeah, and, and the tractor don't move quick. No. Yeah. So I, I'm I fly into the house. It's dark. Like it's dark. Fly in the house, and I'm expecting to walk into the the house at, to this like bat. Yeah. And it's not there. There was no bat. So I go and like touch base with my wife. I'm like, hey, what's going on? And. She's like, I was watching the Olympics. I was watching Simone Biles do her floor d- routine, and <laughs> and all of a sudden something flew across the TV screen, and I, and she's like, "There's a bat." I'm like, okay, and I, and I like, didn't. That kind of checks out, honestly. It kind of checks out, but I'm like, how in the heck is it getting in the house? That was my first thought. I was like, how is it getting in here? Mm. Um. So, anyways, like, I'm looking for this bat then, mm. and I'm kind of freaking out because it's nine. And I was almost ten o'clock at night. Yeah. And the bat's not flying around. Uh-huh. And I'm like, dude, if we go to bed, this bat's going to be in our house? Dude, yeah, that's the worst feeling. That was the worst feeling. That's the worst feeling. You're like, frick. So I'm I'm doing all this research. I got the lights on. I'm looking. At it, and one of the things I read was if you turn off all the lights, mm-hmm. they'll feel more comfortable we'll and they'll come back, back out. out. Yep. So I turn the lights off and I have like this spotlight I had right next to the chair. Yep. And I'm just like watching the Olympics. <laughs> <laughs> and I just waiting. Well, I was you're getting like, tired. You're like freaking Clint Eastwood sitting on your like, get off my lawn. It was almost eleven o'clock. <laughs> yeah, and I'm like, if you're you know, not a late, a late. No. Yeah, you're a morning guy. Normally, I wouldn't be on a tractor at nine o'clock. Usually, I'm in bed by nine o'clock. Yeah, you're old man. So it's eleven o'clock, and I'm like, honestly, like my eyes are getting heavy, yeah. and um, I'm about to call it for the night. Yeah. Like I put a like a towel underneath my son's door. Yeah. Like I was closing all the doors. So like, it was like hopefully in yeah. one room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And sure enough, I'm watching Suni Lee do her floor routine yeah. and here comes the bat. And I freaking grab my spotlight and I, I find it and I open up the, those big doors yeah. and out it flies. And I'm thinking, dude, I wish that that would happen in my house, man. Yeah, I'm excited to hear Mine doesn't story. do that. They don't They don't leave. <laughs> <laughs> so continue, continue. So like, I'm thinking now like, okay, this is this is actually a problem. Like, yeah. at, you know, I was sitting there doing the research and like, everything that I was reading says like, if you have more than a couple of bats in a year, like you might have an infestation in your attic and you might not know it. They can be in your walls, they can be in your, in your floors. There's like all these things and I'm getting freaked out. Yeah, I I'm reading about that. rabies, I'm reading about, <laughs> I'm reading about like, all these, you know, different health hazards. Um, yeah. I don't know if you knew this, but bats 
um, carry the most diseases and spread diseases more than any other animal. Fantastic. That's ever. what I love to hear. Thank you. Thank so, you. Yeah. Um, so basically, I call an expert. The next day, I get mm -hmm. on the horn. That was Monday, and today's... No. No, that was last Friday. So that was, was on Friday. Friday. Yeah, I was going to say it was last week. And then he he was scheduled to come Monday, Monday. which was yesterday. So I get on the, on the, on the phone with this guy. Um, and I actually missed one detail. I, I actually had called a bat guy on the second offense. Da -na 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 bat guy. Yeah. Literally. Uh -huh. And they did a free consultation. I'm uh -huh. like, what can it hurt? He'll come out. Yeah. He said, I couldn't, I can't find anything. And so I was like, I kind of like took that as like, okay, we should be. We should be okay. It might have been just a flu. That was his job, and he couldn't find it. Couldn't, couldn't find any oh. issues with the house. Mm. And so, anyway, that that's a small detail I missed. But I called the guy. He's coming out. Uh -huh. I'm paying this dude, like dude to come out and give me a full. He's gonna get on the roof. He's gonna like everywhere. He's gonna give me a full breakdown of like here's what here's what the here's issues exactly are. Exactly your issues. Yep. And so he comes out Monday morning. Super good dude. Mm -hmm. His name is Austin. And wow, that's two Austins that you've worked with just recently. Yeah. yeah. His name is Austin. He's a hunter. Uh -huh. He shot some really big deer in um, northern Ohio. He's a oh. really, really cool dude. Um, and I was I was like straight up with him. I'm like, dude, this is like the worst possible timing. Mean, I want to try and do this as effective but as affordable as possible. Yeah, yeah. You've got some other things that you're juggling right now. Yeah, and I'm like, I'm like, who, n nobody plans for that stuff. <laughs> Truly. Yeah. And over the phone with him, I'm like, I, I understand that you can't give me a quote over the phone. Yeah. But what is like what are what, like what are we even like looking here? at? Yeah, 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 he's yeah. like, well, I've seen him as low as twelve hundred and high as twenty thousand, and I'm thinking like, oh, oh none of those are good. <laughs> none of that's good. <laughs> Wait, the low end was twelve hundred. Oh wow! So okay. what they do? They have we're in the wrong business, buddy. <laughs> you know, they have one way bat doors. So once they find yes. where they are, the one way bat yeah. door bats are federally protected. You legally cannot kill bats. Uh -huh. And so they put the door on, they'll come back in a week, they'll take them off and seal up the area and like they can give you a warranty on like, hey, five to 10 years, yeah. we guarantee there'll be no bats in the house because yeah. they've sealed everything, et cetera. Yeah. So he, he's like showing me like, we, we pinpointed like specifically one location, but the way that the roof line is mm -hmm. on this great room, um, it's basically, if you like can imagine like an A-frame house, Yeah. at the bottom of the A-frame, it meets a different roof line. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So if you think about it, there's four locations, mm -hmm. two on the front, two on the back, yep. where the roof lines touch. Mm -hmm. And it's just these little, like little crevices. He pointed out like this little, they call bat poop guano. Yeah. Like that's what he was looking for. Uh-huh, and he found it. There was one of these four spots where like there was a couple pellets. of traces of pellets, yeah. yep. But the other spots, like he's like, I really don't think they're using them, but I would definitely suggest that we seal them, so seal them from one spot to the next. Exactly, because yeah. they're gonna come back. So, and he could tell by like the um, cobwebs. He's like, the fact that there's cobwebs in these spots oh, tells yeah. me that they're not there's coming no and going. There's no disturbance there. Yeah. So the one spot, I'm like, that's got to be it. He's like, there's a little, real, like way up in there. Like yeah. I don't know how to explain it to you, but it's like on the roof, way tucked in, and yeah. there's like this little hole, and that's yeah. how they're getting in. Yeah. So I'm like, great. He's like, what I would do is I would just caulk those locations like heavily, get a clear silicone caulk and just caulk them really heavily. Like that, that's what we do. Yeah. He said, your only other option is we could put a one-way bat door on it, but it's gonna cost some money. Yeah. And it was like in the thousands of dollars range. And I'm like, I can't do that. I said, well, what happens if we like caulk them in? He's like, well, one of two things are gonna happen. One, it'll just die in the wall. You'll never know anything different. Mm -hmm. You'll smell it. You might smell it. Yeah. But it'll go away. Or it'll find or two, its way down. And it'll get into the house. And, and then you let it out. You either let it out or kill it or whatever you're going to do. So basically you become the human one-way bat door. So I, I rolled the dice that day. So like Monday, which was uh -huh. yesterday. Yeah. Yesterday. <laughs> it was yesterday. I literally went to the store, got like five tubes of caulk, uh -huh. and just went to town. Uh -huh. And everything he was pointing out, yeah. I just caulked everything. Yeah. And I'm like rolling the dice. Like this is... Like I'm out just the fee to have him come out. Yeah. No big deal. Yeah. So last night I put my head on the pillow and I, I literally have like a, like a split second thought, like, nah, no way. Like can't be tonight. Oh yeah, it was. So I like, I don't know. Like, 
I'm, I'm kind of disturbed, honestly. Yo, I'll tell you a story that will have you disturbed afterwards, sure. So yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Lay, I, I'm a side sleeper. I'm, I'm on my right side, and my wife and I both have, like, a, a window yeah. on each of our sides. So, like, there's, like, a curtain and a window, mm-hmm. and I always like to keep my window cracked uh-huh. because I like the sound of night, and yeah. I like, like the You got a good screen on that window, right? Yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> screen. Yeah, there's no... I was going to say, screen. I can tell you how the bats are getting into your house. <laughs> <laughs> and so like um it's been really hot and i haven't been yeah. sleeping very good yeah even if it, with the air on like mm. fans going like for some reason when it's really hot like i don't sleep good yeah i almost slept in the basement last night anyway i i'm, I'm on my right side and it like it felt like god like like shook me almost uh-huh you know what i mean yeah like i, I don't like, know hey, why i would up. Have woke up yeah but like i kind of like opened my eyes and again, we have like these white curtains and I'm talking two and a half, three feet, maybe max. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I open my eyes and on the white curtain, I just see this, I hear it like it hit, it hit in the curtain and it's this black thing. And I'm like, oh my God. And I pick, pick my head up. I pick my head up and all of a sudden it goes, it starts flying and it like wins my face. Yeah. Uh huh. Like I could feel the wind on yeah. my face yeah. at one thirty in the morning. Uh huh. And I went from zero to 9,000 and yeah. like, I, I don't even know what it was. My inner, my inner, what's the nicest word to say? Inner bitch. Like, <laughs> <laughs> what a nice way to say it, Nate. Like, <laughs> I, I just, I, I like freaked out. I was like, bat, bat. Yeah. And I, gra- I just started swinging. Yeah. That's the best thing I remember, ran to the door, closed the door. And I'm like, uh-huh. this ends here. Yes. Close the door. What is, what is Lex doing at this point? She's like literally under, under the covers. The cr- yeah, she's like, she's like, get it, get, get it, get it, honey. Get it. She's cheering me on. I'm swinging. I got the, the lights turned thing on. You've had to organize sports in years. Get it, honey. I honestly felt like a tennis player. Like I had my feet. Yeah, 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 yeah. Backhand, forehand. Uh huh. And I finally hit it. Oh yeah. And I realized I had a pillow in my hand. Yeah. So it like kind of like didn't really kill it or anything. Are but you it, sure it didn't? Those things are not strong once you get them. It went to the screen, uh-huh. grabbed the screen, and I go over the screen and it starts flying again. And I'm like, oh, oh my God. So I went into the, um, through the pillow and I went into like this pile of clothes <laughs> and I got my like cargo shorts. Oh yeah. Like I have like yeah, a pair heavy of duty. Car- yeah. Heavy duty, yeah. I've Took the belt one. out really quick cause I was gonna like, yeah. I was hitting stuff. Yeah, no, I get it. And I honestly was swinging. Yeah. I was just swinging cause yeah. they, they're stupid. They don't, they can't oh, see you or whatever. You mean they, and they're quick. They come right to your face. Yes, I hate it. It's horrible. I hate it. So uh, I finally connect. I freaking hit this thing uh, on a forehand. Yeah. It goes down and lands right on my my wife's back. <laughs> Lex is like, no! She can feel it like I'm the she. She's like, no! <laughs> and I'm like, honey, I got it. And I grab my short. I have my shorts. Yeah, yeah. I grab, grab it, it with the shorts. Yeah. And I got it. And it's like making the noise. And I'm like, oh, like stop it was making still the noise. alive at this oh, point. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Grabbed it and I took it outside into the garage and I'm like, like, what am I going to do with this thing? I'm looking around and I found like a clear can and put it in this can and I freaking screwed it in there and I shook that thing. And I was like, screw you. <laughs> That's dude. how you killed it? You shook it it's to It's still death? alive. It's still alive. What? Yeah. It's still alive. <laughs> what? It was Why? 1.30. I'm like, oh, why is it still alive? I don't know. It's in the can though. Without any air holes in it. Maybe it's dying. It's got to be dying, buddy. You basically I suffocated. On, I checked on it this morning. It was still alive. Should we be putting this online? That you just, <laughs> you just said it's illegal. I don't okay. care. Okay, fair enough. If fair you're going to show up in my bedroom in the middle yeah, of the Yeah. Okay, so I feel the same way. Is, is, that, is that the end of the story right there? I do want to add two two quick details. Uh-huh. Um, I, I, like I, I've trapped my whole life. I've, yeah. mm-hmm. I'm an outdoorsman, whatever, like. Like I, I honestly felt that I like was violated, like in oh. my sleep, in the dark, yeah, yeah, like yeah. somebody, like it was like, yeah, no, I get it. I felt very, very violated. Yeah, and I've never like felt that way about any other animal. Mm-hmm. And I just like snakes, like I don't really love snakes, yeah, but I don't hate them. Yeah, spiders, like ah, uh. yeah. but like I felt violated no yeah it's a little bit in the of peace, middle, peace of mind that goes you know flying away with the with the bat but what i figured out is it was trying to get out of my window yeah because of the no, sound of yeah. the bugs 
Like it was yeah. like really loud at night. It was and trying to get out. Yeah. It said food. And you kind of locked it into your house. So then it was. <laughs> like I, I didn't sleep after that. <clears throat> no. Yeah. I honestly didn't. I, I, I haven't slept since 1.30. Yeah. And I'm just riding high on a cup Buddy, of coffee. I, I get it. I get it. So I'm hoping that's the last one, but I just, <laughs> it's been this like, it's been this thing and I just felt like I wanted to share that on a full platform. But you called me this morning and it was the wildest thing because I didn't tell uh, you about, I didn't tell you about anything yeah, that related. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're like, hey, how you doing this morning? And I'm like, yeah, pretty good. What about you? And then you said, take the, take the floor, Trav. Uh, so quick backstory on on what's going on at, at the Osborne house. I've been, my my dad and I just started renovating my bathroom and we have gotten it to a spot where now uh, the water's all shut off at my house. Uh, the toilet's pulled. I only have one bathroom. So that's like toilet, shower, sink, and the bathroom are all pulled. And so I'm staying at my parents' house. Well, Long story short. Right. Yeah, exactly. Um, and so my dad was actually out there last night working on the bathroom while I was off with my kid. Uh, with Cheers to more. him. Yeah, yeah. Cheers Dude, to him. Dude, Papa Osborne, man, he's got it. But I get back to his house after, you know, he gets home. I get home from, I went with my kid to, to hang out with some of our friends. And he's like, yeah, man, it was really a, kind of a crazy night, wasn't it? And I was like, what are you talking about? He's like, the video I sent you. I was like, what video that you sent me? He goes, I could have sworn I sent you. And he pulls out, he's like, oh, oh no, it didn't go through. I'm like, what What are you talking about, Dad? He's like, oh, I found a, a bat in your basement. I was like, oh. I was like, great, did you kill it? He goes, oh no. I was like, what do you mean you didn't kill it, Dad? He's like, well, I, I didn't know what to kill it with. I was like, anything. Anything. Anything, Dad. Like you did. He's like, no. I figured. You know, I told myself it's not my house, so I'm not gonna. <laughs> so I've got a freaking bat. Uh, you got a bat in the house. It's somewhere in the house. Which I was like, Dad. Like what you said. Wait. So it's still in the house. It's still in the freaking house. So you're not going home to a bathroom or peace. And I was like, Dad, because like you said, bats. When you find them, you yeah. better freaking keep an eye on them. Because they love to hide in places. They can get in anywhere. And so it's, or they can get even back outside. So you don't know if that thing is just going to leave the house. Yeah. But you don't know now. Oh, dude. And so the thing that's my trauma from the past is that I, I've i had, I now think, you're in, the, in the seven, I've been in this house for seven years. In the seven years, I've had, I think, four bats in my house. The last time that it happened, I was laying down to sleep, literally in that moment, you know, before sleep where you're kind of in like that twilight zone yep. where like Have your brain your shut thoughts. off and it's like, you're just, you're half aware. And I'm laying in my bedroom and I hear something in my closet. Go, and I was like, what the, and I open my eyes and there's a bat circling my room and it's super dark. I don't keep any lights on in my room. So it's just the silhouette that I can see from like the ambient light coming in from like the street lights outside. And I was like, crap! And I drop out of my bed, covers over my head, and I crawled over. I have got tennis rackets. I was a tennis player in high school and college. I've got tennis rackets stashed around my house because it's not you. the first time this has happened. You actually leave them out for that? I leave them out for that, yeah. Wow. They used to be downstairs stored. I'm like, no, now there's one in my bedroom and there's one in the living room. That's smart. And I literally get down. Under, I grab a tennis racket, I go over and I flick on the light and the things, you know, and doing circles and coming at my face again, which just freaks me the heck out. They, so they do like, what? Echolocation. echolocation yeah. They actually yeah, vibrate. They're, they're echolocating. Sound. So they can actually, they can fly just fine. They know where they're going. And also, I, I read the other day, and it'd be interesting because you said you did some research on them. I read the other day that they're not blind. That they have better eyesight than us, but this they hunt at dark, so they use their echolocation at dark. I don't know. So apparently they can see fine, but he keeps flying at my face. It freaks me out. These things freak me out. Like it it, it hits something, like you said, primal. It was different, man. Like all of a sudden you're like, <laughs> and like your hair goes up and you're like, I gotta kill it. And I so I'm sitting there, I've got a cover up around my head, I've got my thing out, my racket out, I'm swinging at it. And it comes around the corner, and I overheaded that sucker. You just gave it a... I mean, just whap, and it went, it hit the wall and slid down the wall. And um, 
<laughs> I, I said something questionable afterwards. I yelled at it. Yeah. So I was upset. I was so yeah. high on the drill and I was like, ah! Uh, it had slid behind my bed and I had to pull out the bed and there it was in the little crumpled mess, which is why I was surprised that yours didn't die because every one of them I've hit, granted I've they, hit it with a freaking tennis racket, right I just break them. But I've killed, that's like my fourth or fifth one now. Cause they, they like they, we've tried the whole opening the back door, but we have, we don't have a great room. We're like, you yeah. know, eight foot ceilings and my door is just like a normal single wide door and they can never find the door. Mm -hmm. We've sat there and opened it and all I'm doing is just letting in all the mosquitoes so that it has more prey inside my house. Mm. And I'm like, so we've killed a lot. <laughs> so what I learned, this is becoming a, bot, a bat podcast. Bat podcast. Sorry. Um, but what I learned from talking to this gentleman is like, so you have to be certified. He, he was telling me like, I have to be certified yeah. and take that classes makes sense. Yep. Yeah. because they're federally protected whatever. But he was telling me that like they can't grab onto your siding because it's like slippery. Yeah, correct. Yeah. But they they really, the, the spots that they pinpoint are like where they can hit the roof because they mm -hmm. can, the shingles are yeah, really grippy. Nice. And then wood. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. So like they often put up like a coil stock, a piece of aluminum. So like mm -hmm. they can't grab. Yeah. They can't, they're not like birds where they can just like come and light. Oh, light. They no, have they to like to land light. Yeah. and grab. So we should go out and look because I got the I-4 like he was pointing out all showing me these pictures yeah well this last one was weird because it was down in my basement it's because it's really hot and i was like Frick. probably because that's what they do he said they get really hot yeah. and then they go to get cooler you want to know what's funny do you want to know where it's sitting on my basement um, apparently i've got a screen door down there that i didn't even realize it's like sitting in the back it must have been from when we moved in but a screen from a screen door is sitting down there and it was latched onto that mm -hmm. literally my dad takes a video of it doesn't kill it doesn't kill it and i'm like frick that thing's he's somewhere like, in my house i'm already i'm already doing it he's bathroom. already yeah, exactly i can't really like bash him at all because it's like yeah he's he's doing me a huge favor i have literally zero skills in these hands for anything that's home improvement so like if i didn't have dad i wouldn't be able to do this because i couldn't afford to actually hire someone out for it either so I can't bash him. I mean, he's helped me out big time. But I was like, frick, man. Now, like, my brain is sitting there like, if that thing isn't still in the basement, yeah. where is it? And it might be even gone. It could have left. Could have. But, but I won't know. Not. I won't know. It's just going to friggin' find me in the middle of the night. Now you're putting stuff into my head like, do you know that these things uh, carry the most diseases? Out of Great. Thanks, Nate. Well, I'm like, sure, like, awesome. I was going on, you know, when you Google anything, you get the, the worst of the worst. Yeah. 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 Well, that's fair. But hey, Hoozle, that's what's been happening. It's been, <laughs> it's been like honestly just stressful and it's the worst. Dude, that's like that is it's a lack of peace. Like for legitimately after that one flew at me in, in your my bedroom room. when you're sleeping. Like that's when you were most vulnerable. I had a hard time sleeping for a hot second. I'm not ashamed to say it. Oh, and then every little noise would wake me up and my house is an old house. So it's always like settling and I would wake up <gasps> like this morning. You know, my wife and I were like recapping and everything. And and I'm like, I got to go see if this thing's still alive. And I went outside, checked it, whatever. Hopefully it's still alive. I don't think maybe I don't think it was really. I, I, I couldn't tell. OK, like it was just kind of like hanging there. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, come back in the house. We have like this plant that hangs from like yeah. the front porch yeah. and a bird made a nest in there. And as I'm walking back, like it flew out in front of me and I was like, I like jumped and I'm like, dang, <laughs> like what is wrong with me? Like I, I was like all jumpy. Yeah. I mean, it, it, yeah, I don't know, man. They're, they're not like, unless they're rabid, they're not harmful. It's not like they're going to come after you, but they are like, they're spooky little suckers. Oh, they're spooky. Cause they're basically like mice. But with wings, it kind of sucks. Yes, I don't love mice either. You know, when they're in your house, they're hard enough to catch. Okay, so being able to fly. we're gonna pivot. Pivot hard, this real is, hard. This is gonna be like a seventy-five percent bat and like twenty-five. Yeah, let's just hit it real quick so that people yeah. have a little bit of information on. Um, so I think the last time we talked That's about right. this project, mm -hmm. um, we kind of hyped up the series that we're gonna do on the YouTube channel. Yeah. We're really excited about that. We've basically filmed everything except for like the closing like seating part and yeah. the closing like I, I think we're planning on doing like a sit down to like talk about the finances of the entire project yeah we want to keep open books on this so that people actually have usable information for themselves so like officially 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 like 
the loggers are out of there. Yeah. So like we've been grooming yeah. the plots, getting a lot of the debris out. That's been all you. Yeah, yeah, I've been doing a lot of that just kind of like when I can. We did we did do some filming on that though to kind of show. Um, got my hands on a York rake that was huge because I was like hurting my back picking things up. Mm -hmm. um, but like that's that's basically the only thing that's left is the is the filming of of the actual seeding and how yeah. we're how we're fertilizing it, et cetera, et cetera, um, which is going to happen I think in the next week if that's the weather awesome. cooperates. Yeah, yeah, we've been we've been trying to get out there, but it's just. It's been a little bit of struggle between schedules, but then also the weather just hasn't been super cooperative. Like today, you might hear it even at the beginning. It was dumping. It was dumping some rain earlier. Now it's it's fine. So it's just it's Michigan. This is the time of year for it. So yeah, truly you need the water right now. You got to yeah. So that's kind of what's happening there. I did see like my first good buck in velvet the other day. Really I was running. Okay. There is like in the middle of the day. It's a really hot day. There were some does that kind of like feeding this bean field, maybe a hundred yards off of the road. Yeah. And I'm jogging by, and I see the does, and they kind of like run away. Mm -hmm. And I kind of get over this rise, and I look over into this bean field again, and a big ten point. Beautiful. It was how close is this to your your property? Pretty close. Nice. Sweet. Like within three quarters of a mile. Awesome. So definitely potential. That's fantastic, man. Yeah. Got me all excited. <laughs> Um, but it's that time of year, August, beginning of August, food plots are going in mm -hmm. and that's really what we're, we're gearing up to do. And maybe we'll even do, um, like a follow-up podcast about how, how that's kind of all went. Um, oh yeah. I mean, we'll probably do it even for the series. So, so one of the cool things that we're planning on doing that I think we've said before, but let's recap it is that we're not just going to leave this series after we put it up on YouTube. We're not going to leave it as a, um, all right, and we planted, and there we go. We're done signing off. We're planning on each at least once a year showing the showing the progress of it, so that like, because that's the big thing that you couldn't find was that like exactly. you could see people doing food, food plots, but it's very rare to actually see how those food plots have worked out, or the, the even the, the logging has worked out after you know multiple years of progressive growth inside those areas, and we want to show you guys. Not only the process of getting to the cleared land, but what does the cleared land look like? What does the deer activity in that land look like? Like, what is the actual payoff? Because 100%. no one's clearing the land, at least from our audience, no one's clearing the land just for the looks. Correct. They're clearing the land because you want to have deer habitat. And we're going to show you if the deer habitat does show up or if it doesn't, or what we have to do to pivot to get that deer habitat to show up. Like, one of the things already on our, our list of things that's going to happen next year lime yeah we're gonna have to do lime we didn't do it this year uh it was just an added expense we wanted to see how things kind of worked Absolutely. out as it is next year that's going to be a thing that we have to do i've been already researching that it was just honestly like a a funding thing yeah like and a time thing i mean yeah. like we're, we're kind of button up against you know needing to hit go time 100%. especially because at least you were heading out to utah yeah that's enough <laughs> <laughs> yeah um but basically, like you said, I think that's the key is showing the long term. Yeah. Yeah. We want to give longevity, not just like the, the clickbait on the front. One other thing, we had a couple of people reach out about um, the watering hole um, podcast that we talked about, Devin and I. And we are planning to because it, it's kind of been raining a lot lately. Mm -hmm. So we've been doing some some documenting of the actual Good. water hole so we can give more of an educated response. So. Um, if you're one of those people who reached out and asked, hey, what's some of the updates on that? Um, we're going to be bringing that to you on the following podcast probably as well. So That's sick. thanks for listening. Uh, stay bat free and we'll catch you on the next one. <laughs> <laughs> da, 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 bat free.